Hey there, YouTubers and Facebookers. Today, this is my cooking show. Why am I making a cooking show? Simple. I'm hungry and I'm bored. Alright, so today I'm going to teach you how to make a complicated meal known as ramen noodles. Now, to start preparing these ramen noodles, you just need to, um, um, oh no, earthquake! Ah! Okay, so after the earthquake, I asked my mom, I mean, uh, Rachel Ray, if how to, how to make ramen noodles. And she told me, first you need to wash your hands. Okay, so we're going to wash our hands. So in order for that, we got to turn the water on. Uh, okay, um, the pipes are froze up. So, she also told me, in case of this situation, we do this. Okay, so in case of this situation, she told me to just use the sink outside, which in this case is the snow. So, take some soap, like so, and rub your hands a bit. Now you just wash your hands, like any other day. Your hands may freeze or start to fall off. That's okay, that's what it's supposed to do. And now your hands are Okay, so right after you wash your hands and you probably go to the hospital because you have frostbite, you come back and you pick a pot. Um Okay, we don't have any clean pots, so if you don't have a clean pot, you just take a pot, you get some hey look, sink's working now, and you just wash it out and rinse it out, uh yeah, that should be clean enough. And then you just fill it up with water. Just like that. You don't need soap or anything. All you need is running water. Which I wish I kind of would have had when I was making these stupid things. Alright, when I was washing my hands. So. Okay guys, so in this part, this is where you actually start to make them. So what you need is about, uh, you know, I'm not good at measurements. So I'm going to say about that is three gallons of water. You need three gallons of water, and you just put it on. You know, you want to make this as uh, fast as possible, so you just go ahead and put it on high. And then you sit here and wait. So you have to wait about a good 30 minutes or so. So let me show you what else you can so do. So another thing that you could do while you're waiting 30 minutes for your water to boil, you could go on Facebook. Yes, Facebook. Facebook is that magical thing that adults keep away from children so they can't have any fun in their lives. But shh, I, I snuck in. So what you do, you can check your notifications. Yeah. Jason posted on the wall and someone commented on someone's crap. And yep, just do this for 30 minutes while you're waiting. You know, you can play games like Petville or Backyard Monsters. And Facebook thinks that it knows who your friends are, so it's going to try to get you to know people that you don't even like. Yeah, so that's what you do while you're waiting. Okay, guys, so it's been about a half hour, and our water is starting to boil. Yep. Oh, and if you're wondering what this plate is here, this is just a snack that I made. It's um, steamed pickles, you know. It's just pickles, but a little bit squishier and grosser. Um, yeah, you just come on, eat those. And when I'm starting to boil now, what you do is you take this thing and you just open it. Open! So then you just simply open it, and you just throw it on in there. And then you take this powder stuff, it's chicken flavor, I think it's just like the little hair stuff, yeah, like the little flakes that come out of your hair, yeah, it's just that of a chicken, and that's why it's chicken flavor, and so you just pour that in there. Little chicken, hair up, and then you should find a fork. And now I'm going to show you 
how to find it. Okay, so when you're looking for a fork, this is what you want to do. You want to walk over to your drawer, like so. Then you want to open it, like this. Then you look around, and there is no fork in here. So, this is what you do. You go over to your dishwasher, and hopefully your sister did the dishes like she was supposed to. Oh, and it doesn't look like they're clean. So what you do is you take a fork, a dirty fork like this, and you just do the same thing that you did with the pot. You just take it and then you rinse it off like so. And then it's okay. And that's how so you So now that you've found your fork, you should probably find the bowl to put your ramen noodles in. So what you do is you look in your cabinet like this, and there's a bowl now. So you just pick up the bowl. Put it around right here. Make sure your steamed pickles are out of the way. And you move this pot so your ramen noodles will get all soggy and gross. And they should look like this. So what you do, you put your bowl there. And you use your fork. Pick up the ramen noodles like so. And just slap them on in there. In your bowl. Mmm, don't those just look yummy. Just like the Chinese used to make. And then, if you want juice, you just take the pot and pour your juice in there. Mmm. And also, if you don't like your ramen noodles in a bowl, make sure you purchase ramen noodles in the cup. Ramen noodles in the club, in a cup. Their model is, it may save your life someday. And that is how you make ramen noodles. And then you just eat and enjoy. It's really. Mmm. Ah. Isn't that great? So now you go home and make some ramen noodles. See ya.